Ons Jabor is a Tunisian professional tennis player. In 2021, she entered the top 10 ratings, and it was the time when she told that her goals are a lot bigger. She said, This is a dream coming true. This is something that I've been wanting. I always wanted to get there, to be number one in the world. Now, on June 27, 2022, she has been ranked as high as world number two by the Women's Tennis Association, or WTA. Moreover, Jabour is Tunisia's current number one player and the highest ranked African and Arab tennis player in WTA and ATP history. She has won three WTA Tour single titles, as well as 11 ITF Women's Circuit singles and one doubles title. She was on the verge of winning her first Grand Slam title at the US Open when she was defeated by, by Iga Swiatek. Her hard work is not going unnoticed as there are various tennis players who have appreciated her. In this video, we will discuss what different tennis players think about Ons Jabour. Let's get into the details. Is Ons Jabour getting appreciation from different players? Tunisian tennis star Jabour is reaping the benefits of her efforts as she played the best season of her career in 2021 and 2022. Jabour's season, especially 2021, was not forgotten, as Murray Navratilova and King, among others, congratulated her on Twitter. After the appreciation, she admitted that she was positively surprised when these players tweeted about her. It means a lot to me. I had no idea Andy Murray, Martina Navratilova, and Billie Jean King would tweet about me. It's incredible, Jabour told Arab News. It just goes to show how important this is to me. Iga Swiatek In the final of the US Open 2022, Ons Jabour and Iga Swiatek faced off. The match was won by Iga Swiatek, but undoubtedly, Ons Jabour played really well. Jabor was lost to Elena Rybakina in the Wimbledon final was at her best when she could express her vibrant personality, teasing opponents with drop shots and clever touches at her net, but the pace and accuracy of Swiatek's ball kept her pinned behind the baseline. After winning the match, Iga Swiatek spoke about her and Ons' rivalry by saying, I know this is already a pretty nice rivalry, I'm pretty sure we're going to have many more and that you're going to win some of them, so don't worry. Ons Jabor is admired by Billie Jean King. Last year, Jabor reached a career high of number 8 in the WTA rankings, becoming the first Arab player to reach the top 10 in either the ATP or WTA. She had been working her way up to this point, having reached three finals in 2021, including the WTA 250 event in Birmingham in June as well as the semi-finals of the BNP Paribas Open and the quarter-finals of Wimbledon. King, a member of the sport's original nine who laid the groundwork for professional women's tennis, is overjoyed that the Tunisian is living the dream. It's a link to our 1970 dream, and Ons is actually living the dream. The players today are living our dream for them, she told The National in an interview. When we first started the tour, we had three goals in mind. One of them is that if a girl is good enough, she can compete anywhere in the world, and we mean it. King believes that other than sports, she thinks Ons Jabour is an inspiration for women, especially Arab women. She has such a strong desire to do well for the Arab people, and that came across loud and clear, the American said. She's trying to represent the Arab people, and I value what you do off the court as much as what you do on it. So, I think I admired that aspect of her. I like it because it's easy when you both think the same way, and I feel the same way that I'm representing people, that I love team play, that I love representing my country, that it's something bigger than yourself, and I see that in her. I admire the sameness in her. Billie Jean King also thinks that Ons Jabour can make a difference in the world. So she's got a lot of things going on where she's trying to make the world a better place, and I admire what she's trying to do and would like to see her succeed. Andy Murray Ons Jabor steamrolled Anna Kalinskaya in the Indian Wells 2021 pre-quarters. She gave her opponent no chance and defeated her in straight sets. The match ended with a score of 6-2, 6-2. Interestingly, her performance in Indian Wells had her on the verge of a historic feat because she did not lose a single set before the quarterfinals, which legends such as Andy Murray praised her for. After her victory against Kalinskaya in Indian Wells, Andy Murray seemed happy for her and reacted on Twitter. That's very cool, wrote the former world number one on Twitter. He also enjoyed watching her play. He said, Owens Jabor is quickly becoming one of my favorite players to watch in the world. 
She's just amazing and possibly the most hugged player on tour. Every time she shakes a hand, people hug her, so she must be an amazing person as well. It seems like it's not just Andy Murray who likes Ons Jabor. In fact, her mother, Judy Murray, also named Ons Jabor as one of her favorite players. She said, One of my favorites for a long time, an entertainer. What are your thoughts about the comments on J by Judy Murray? Do you think she thinks right about Ons? Tell us in the comment box. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Let's see how Ons Jabor made it to this place. The path of tennis for Ons Jabor was not an easy one. After getting her name in the top 10, she talked about the difficulties she faced while reaching the spot. Coming from my country is very different from being an American, French, or Australian. They have not only the example of seeing players playing in front of you, but also more tennis clubs and tournaments to name a few, Jabor elaborated. Sponsors have turned me down because of my background, which is completely unfair. I had no idea why before. I agreed to it. I handled it. I am extremely proud of the person I have become today, despite the fact that I no longer rely on others. Everyone has most likely had a difficult career. I don't claim to have the most difficult one. I just wanted to do it right. It's my fantasy. I didn't want to be reliant on a sponsor or someone who doesn't care about tennis or sports in general. It gave me the confidence to keep going and achieve my goals, and I'm now in the top 10. She continued struggling throughout the year, and now she is number two in the world. Carrying a nation's hope on her shoulders and blazing a trail for Arab and African players has been something she has lived with her entire career, but it's only recently that she has come to embrace it rather than let it be a burden. I see myself as if I'm on a mission, Jabor said. I tell myself that I chose this, assume I chose to inspire people. I made the decision to be who I am. One day, I hope to share my experience and bring in new generations. So I don't see it as a burden. I see it as a tremendous pleasure and a tremendous responsibility. It's part of the job and it's why I'm here today. And I believe in giving. Sharing could benefit me as a player and future generations. Ons Jabor is a player who went through a lot of steps to achieve what she has today. She said it was like jumping from step to step. She considers herself a person who takes her time and keeps on learning. All in all, Jabor is becoming a fan favorite with all eyes on her at every tournament. Hopefully, she will keep pursuing new goals and become the role model for her country that she aspires to be. Share your thoughts about the players in the comments section. And this was all from this video. I hope you all liked it. I'll see you again with another video soon.